G'day fam, what's Dolce? Paul here. Last week I asked you guys if you were interested in me putting together a training on Facebook audience insights and Facebook audience research. So what I've done is I've gone into the vault of my online training program, Funnels 101, and I pulled out one of the modules and one of the trainings from module 12, which is on targeting and traffic generation specifically for Facebook ads. Now, you're about to watch that training. I'm so excited. It's, it's a good one. And look, if you've got any questions, just leave them in the comments section below. And if you want me to keep doing stuff like this in the future, also let me know your feedback. I want to create content based on your feedback and I don't want to push out content that you guys aren't interested in seeing. So if you do enjoy it, drop it a, drop it a reaction, drop it a like, drop it a heart, do, do whatever you do. And um, yeah, let me know if there's any other topics you'd like me to explore for future content. Apart from that, I, uh, I'll see you inside. Peace. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna to need to do is fire up Facebook's Audience Insights tool, okay? So you can access this tool by going to facebook.com forward slash ads forward slash audience dash insights. Or you can simply just go to your Power Editor and click up here and go to All Tools and then go to Audience Insights. Okay, cool. So once you've navigated to the audience discovery part of your Facebook ads, what we're gonna to need to do is select the Everyone on Facebook option. Okay, so now we're inside the audience discovery tool, okay? This is by far one of the coolest tools that Facebook has. Facebook has a lot of really cool tools, but this is, it's an amazing tool. And it's pretty much probably, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it, it's probably the most intense, kind of scary, um, but awesome insights and data tool available to any marketer or advertiser in the history of marketing and advertising, okay? Because it's so comprehensive and it's got so much data on every single one of Facebook's users and Instagram's users. It's just amazing. And that data is what we're gonna be using to discover your perfect audience size that we're gonna be targeting for the attraction phase of your funnel, okay? So I'm gonna quickly run through the interface now and then we'll get into the actual process in terms of what you need to do to discover that perfect audience. Okay, so. Across the top, we'll see your accounts, your Facebook ads accounts, and then you'll see these options up here. So you can create a new audience, you can open up a saved audience, you can save an audience, and then you can also uh, save as. So you can like open an audience and then make a few edits to it and then save that as a new audience, okay? And you can also create ad, but I never create ads from this area. Uh, down the side, we have custom audiences. If you wanna throw a custom audience in there, we've also got the location, age and gender, the age, um, We've got the interests, which you can target, and we've also got the connections, which is you know people connected to your page, or people who like your page, or people who don't like your page. And then we've got all of these advanced metrics here that we can search for as well. In the middle area, we've got the basic demographics of the audience that we're searching for. So age and gender, lifestyle, relationship status, education level, the job title, and their comparison to the data that you're searching for. We've also got the page likes, the top categories, and the types of pages that these people like based on the selections that we've made on the left. And you can also look at where these people are located um, in terms of the cities or the countries and the languages. Also see their activity on Facebook. Um, in the United States of America, you can also see basic household income statistics. And you can also see their uh, purchase behavior as well for people in the United States. Okay, so now that we've covered the basics of the Audience Insights tool, we need to go and grab that completed customer archetype sheet that we referred to earlier on. Okay, so you're gonna be referring to this archetype sheet when you're building out the very, very basics of your audience, okay? So you can use this, you use your own sheet as a point of reference and kind of just follow along and look over my shoulder as I go through and do the same process, okay? So we're gonna go back to our uh, audience insights tool and we're gonna start building out an archetype, all right? So if we remember Mike, Mike is uh, from the United States. So I'm gonna leave the United States as the country to target. The United States is also one of the biggest countries on Facebook that has the most data. So it's a really, really great uh, economy or a great location um, to target or to build an audience profile around if you're selling to people in the United States, okay? And basically, now we need to work out um, the type of age. So if you remember, uh, Mike is, 27 years old, okay? So I'm going to basically make this age range around, let's go maybe 23 and uh, 27, maybe we'll go up to say, mm, let's go up to 49, okay? And you'll see that as you change each little area, or if you change the age, and as you change any, any other element in the audience targeting, basically the data on the right is gonna change to reflect those changes, okay? 
said change a lot just then. <laughs> Alrighty, so uh, Mike is also a dude, but I'm just going to keep the gender broad because I just want to get as much data as possible. I'm going to cast the widest net at this point in time. And we're going to refine it down later, but at this point in time, I want to cast the widest net possible. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to go to the page likes area. Okay. So at the moment, all we've done is um, adjusted our audience insights for people that are in the United States, both male and female between the ages of 23 and 49. So there's like 100 to 150 monthly, 100 to 150 million monthly active people. And that is way too big of an audience, okay? So what we want to do to refine that down is we want to find and think of basic interests that people that are going to be interested in our primary proposal would like on Facebook, okay? So if you've built your audience archetype, you would have already had this stuff written down in the interests and sociographic section, okay? So I'm going to start off by um, looking at targeting people that like pages related to Gary Vaynerchuk, John Luma, and Smart Passive Income. And I'm going to use that as my basis, okay? So let's go back to our audience discovery. And people, uh, we're going to go to interests. And I'm going to type in Gary Vaynerchuk as our first interest. Gary Vaynerchuk. And there's also, uh, Rush It by Gary Vaynerchuk from memory. Gary Vaynerchuk. And that's a book that he's written. If you haven't read that, it's a really great book. I recommend checking it out. Love Gary V. That guy is a legend. Um, all right, I digress. Let's get back into it. So uh, the other interest we wanted to target was John Luma. And I'm going to throw him in there. And I can't remember the other one. What's the other one? Smart Passive Income with Pat Flynn. Cool. All right, so I've thrown those basic interests uh, into my audience insights tool. And you'll see that the audience size has decreased dramatically. And we've now got about 1 million to 1.5 million monthly active people. All right, and that's really cool. We can now look at the top categories. The top categories is entrepreneur, Gary Vaynerchuk. And if you look at the other categories, some of them aren't really too great. I mean, that one's relevant. Tim Ferriss is the author of 4 Hour Workweek. But a lot of these other categories aren't too relevant, okay? If we go down to page likes, basically you can see the Facebook pages that are likely to be relevant to your audience based on the interest category that you've thrown in here and based on people that like these pages, okay? So you can see the affinity, and the affinity is basically, if you look here, how likely your audience is to like a given page compared to everyone else on Facebook, okay? So it's basically taking this data that we've thrown in the left-hand column here, and it's giving you an affinity based on uh, how likely your audience is to like a specific page on Facebook compared to everyone else on Facebook based on the interest that you specified, okay? So if we categorize this list by affinity, clicking on it, so people that... Um, you know, people that like these pages are most likely going to like Gary Vaynerchuk, which is obvious. Um, now we've got this hardcore closer and we've got these other names down here. Now what these become, these become kind of seed interests that allow you to discover more people and more relevant people that you can build targeting profile from. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and just copy these, or these ones here. And I'm just going to open up an Excel spreadsheet and I'm just going to paste them into this Excel spreadsheet. So I've now got a bunch of new interests that I can use as kind of seed interests to discover whether these people are going to be, or whether these pages are really relevant to what I'm selling, okay? So let's take the hardcore closer as the first example. So what I'm going to do now is go to Facebook and I'm going to type in hardcore, oops, hardcore closer to my Facebook search, okay? So let's have a look at this. We've got a personal profile, we've got a page. We want the page, okay? Hardcore closer. I'm going to look at this page. Let's look at this guy. All right, Hardcore Closer, best-selling author of this stuff, entrepreneur, okay, cool. Let's go and have a look at it, about his page. Cool, so his mission is to help high-income entrepreneurs increase lead flow, boost closing ratios, and charge premium prices. So this guy sounds like someone that would be potentially related to my target audience, right? Be a really good seed category. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna add this one to a good list, okay? So I'm gonna go back to my Excel spreadsheet add him to a separate list over here, hardcore closer. Cool. And then what you want to do is you just want to go through and vet those first nine or so interests that you've gotten from your initial targeting and just repeat the process, okay? So if you research their page and you find that it's relevant, you want to add them to this siphon list, all right? Let's assume for the purposes of demonstration that the only one that was relevant to my list is hardcore closer, all right? So I'm going to then delete all the other ones because they're irrelevant. Okay, and now what I want to do is go back to my audience discovery tool and I'm going to throw in hardcore closer in here. 
not loading up. That's okay. So sometimes in Facebook, just because there's a page on Facebook doesn't necessarily mean you'll be able to target it, okay? So at this point in time, it looks like we can't target the hardcore closer. That's a little bit annoying, but that's okay. What we can do instead is we can go back to our Facebook and we can use the graph search to find pages or to find pages that are liked by people who like hardcore closer, all right? So all we need to do is type into here, pages liked by people who like Hardcore closer. And I just want to hit see all results. All right, cool. So pages liked by people who like hardcore closer. Got these ones, and I'm gonna go see all so you can see some more pages. Cool. So now we've got a bunch of more bunch more pages that may be specific to building our audience. So what we want to do now is we want to go through and just look at every single one of these pages. Let's just look at the top 10 and do the same thing. So we want to work out whether these pages are actually relevant to what we're gonna be selling in our primary proposal and whether our audience is likely to like these people or these pages, right? So for the purposes of demonstration, I've already done this, okay? And I, let's just say I've gone through the top 10 or top 20 and the only ones that I found to be really, really relevant to my audience were Digital Marketer and Derek Halpern, okay? So I would then go to my Excel spreadsheet and I would type in digital marketer and Derek Halpern. Cool. All right, so now what I want to do is I'm going to go grab these two and I'm going to throw them into my audience discovery tool, okay? So it's pretty much just kind of rinse and repeat process, all right? So let's go back to our audience discovery tool. Let's type in digital marketer. Cool. And it's right there. Sweet. And let's also type in Derek Halpern. Cool. So now I've thrown in uh, Derek Halpern and Digital Marketer amongst everyone else in this ad set. So what you want to do is just rinse and repeat that process until you find enough relevant interests that are relevant to your primary proposal. And you want to aim for about 2.5 to 5.0 million people to create that seed audience. Okay. I'm going to go through now, and I've already done this a bunch of times, so I'm going to go through now and complete that process as if I was doing it, or as if I was doing it with you uh, for my own primary proposal, and then we're going to come back, and we're going to look at how to refine that audience down to make it more specific. Okay, cool. So I've now completed my audience. I've got about 2.5 to 3 million people as my seed audience. All I want to do now is save it. I'm just going to save it as seed audience example. I'll give it a United States seed audience example. Cool. I'm going to save it. Bang. Cool. And now I've saved this audience. Okay. So now what we want to do is start the process of refining this audience down to more closely match our archetype. Okay. So I'm going to refine this audience firstly by gender. And that is men. And I've now got 1.5 2 million people in this, in this category. And... If we go to demographics, you notice that we have these age parameters and these age parameters reflect the age parameters that Facebook uses when reporting the success of data for specific ages in your ads. So what I wanna do is because my mic, my archetype is 27 years old, I'm gonna find the age parameter that he falls into and that is the 25 to 34 year group, okay? So I'm just gonna go and put 25 to 34. Cool, so now I've got 900,000 to a million people in this audience. It reflects my customer archetype, or one of my customer archetypes, and that's gonna form the basis of my target audience for the cold traffic ads that I'm running in the attraction phase of my funnel, driving traffic to my attraction blog content, the anti do move content, and also to drive traffic to my attraction lead magnet. So the last thing I wanna do now is just save this audience, but remember you wanna hit save as. So I'm gonna go to more, I'm gonna hit save as, and we'll save this audience as U.S. seed audience, actually U.S. male 25 to 34 seed audience example. Cool. Now I've saved that audience. Now let's just assume for the purposes of example that you wanted to split test your assumptions of your perfect customer archetype 
with that same archetype, but in a different gender. Okay, so you wanna create a split test for the audience on gender. So all you'd need to do is, we've got this loaded up here, which is US males, 25 to 34, which is the seed audience example. All we need to do is just go and click on women. And in the women target market, we've got 600,000 to 700,000 monthly active users in that women target market, which is awesome. So now what we wanna do is just save as again, and all we're gonna do is just change the name of the audience to include female, all right? So let's copy that, save as, and put in F female, this bracket, and get rid of the other bracket, and hit save. Cool, so now we have two audiences based on the same interest categories in the same location, in the same age group, the only difference is they're different genders. So we could then go and split test the differences between the responsiveness of our genders in those specific target markets in that age group, okay? And you could run those two split tests in different ad sets and target those different people to see which audience nets you the cheapest and most relevant result. Other ideas for split testing that you could do is you could group similar interests uh, together. So create similar seed audiences in terms of interests and split test their effectiveness, keeping the other variables being the gender and the age and location constant, but actually split testing the effectiveness of different interests against each other in your ad sets, okay? Ultimately, I'm gonna show you how to run these split tests in the traffic and targeting area of this module but it's good to have those ideas in the back of your mind if you're getting stuck and you can't work out how exactly to decrease your average cost per click, okay? So it's always great to use these split tests and have control variables inside these split tests so you can work out, hey, you know what? I ran all these split tests and males are actually the only people I'm gonna be targeting moving forward because females net me, you know, 65 cents on average extra per click. Or you might work out that, you know, after doing interest split testing that, okay, well, I'm gonna remove Facebook for business, Facebook for local business, and um, let's say social media today, remove those interests because my split testing revealed to me that the audiences that had those interests included in them versus the audiences that didn't were more expensive. So that makes sense because you wanna target the audience that has the lowest conversion rate or the lowest cost per click. So what you, what you would do is you would essentially move those three variables from the interests and that would create an optimized audience moving forward that you would then drive ads to because it's gonna net you a cheaper cost. Now, if you've also built any additional customer archetypes, you'd wanna repeat this whole process for those additional customer archetypes as well. Anyway, that brings us to the end of this lesson. If you have created additional archetype forms, that's awesome. Just go through and rinse and repeat this process for those archetype forms, and you'll be able to use those audiences when it comes to targeting traffic in the attraction phase of your funnel.